El Chino Anthrax was a Mexican drug lord, professional hitman, and a high-ranking member of the Sinaloa Cartel. Arrested on December 30th, 2013, and extradited to the U.S. in 2014. After being sentenced to house arrest in San Diego, he was reported missing on May 9th, 2020. He was then found murdered along with his sister and his brother-in-law. What really happened? Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the episode of Wrong Strong. My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe at that bell. So you'll miss nothing if you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza. You already know what time it is. Subanse la suburban. We about to take a ride. What's up, guys? Obviously, you already know what the video is about. No, no se vio nada de eso. Yo ayer estaba platicando ahí con un camarada que ahí anda la bola y dice que le pregunté sobre eso. Que de este vato dice que, pues, según aquí no lo quería. Según. Pero también que se venía, ese vato de volada jala un chingo de raza, pues la, la raza está bien piñada con él. Entonces, pues de volada armó un pinche equipón. Pero realmente no, no se ha sabido nada. Yo compré el periódico ahorita en la mañana y no, no venía nada ahí. Esa madre, si, si fuera cierto, creo yo que si fuera cierto, no hombre, fuera como una bomba aquí. De volada se sabría todo eso. O la noticia y todo, quién sabe ahí, esta de información de dónde la agarraron. Ese, ese vato es bien vivo, compa Philly, ese vato, por eso estaba como donde estaba, ese vato muy vivo. Ese vato no se lo come, es muy fácil, está cabrón. Es un pinche zorro, güey. Esa es la información que tengo de allá directamente desde Culiacán, Big Dog. Hola, buenas tardes. Mira, lo que yo leí aquí en la, en la noticia que me llevó al celular es de que es obra del chino Antrax, porque que los encontraron en una camioneta de la hermana del chino, nada más. Pero en realidad no sé si, si sea el chino o porque no, no han dicho. Lo que sí dice la nota es que la, la camioneta está a nombre de la hermana del chino. There's been a lot of talk that he faked his death that he had a chip, that he was set up. There's a lot of stuff that's not being told. And guess what? We're talking about it today. What's up guys? One and only JC. If you guys are familiar with the whole story of El Chino Antrax, he was a social media sensation. It was the first time that you've seen a narco pretty much flaunt everything he has and the lifestyle on social media. It made a lot of kids want to be him. He traveled the world uploading pictures of his cars, his yachts, his weapons, his jewelry, and he actually raffled off a lot of expensive gifts to his followers on Instagram. Yeah. Posting stories of his workouts, his you know protein shakes. They called him the elegant fit Mexican, the Mexican James Bond. But all that is what helped the feds get him. They said the ring was the number one thing that helped the authorities identify him. Because that's what they were looking for when he was traveling. So what really happened, guys? What really happened? 
If you guys know his story, you guys know that he grew up with Mayo's sons. Ivan, he, he grew up with his sons. He bodyguarded them. He took care of them. They were like brothers. Did he have a chip? Did the United States put a chip in him because he, they knew that he was going to come back home? Come on, man. Let's, let's keep it real and let's be real. We both know that Chino was a lot smarter than that. That if they would have put a chip in, in him, he would have known. They had a party for him when he came home. The hit squad didn't get there until after the party was done. He was very, very liked in Culiacan. He was a superstar. He had branded himself as Chino Amtrax. The rings, the tattoos, the clothes, everybody wanted to be him. Everybody wanted that lifestyle because of him. You've seen videos of him training, running, all that stuff, working out. So people actually, this is like the first time that social media, I, I mean, you know, there wasn't social, we had MySpace, but social media painted a picture that being a drug dealer was cool, that being part of a cartel was cool. Then you have the tattoo, the famous tattoo on his arm that was nowhere to be seen on his body when they were doing the autopsy. El Mayo's son cried when he found out that they had murdered him. He knew that it wasn't right. And there's a lot of things that can be said, but can't. Because believe it or not, the cartel has a long arm and they, they need to be respected. You have to. So what do you guys think? You guys think that the American government put a chip in him? And he was going to lead them to Omayo? You really believe that sack of shit story? You think that Omayo has been free for this long for being fucking stupid? No, he's been free this long because he knows how the government works. Chip or no chip, El Chino had a huge following. Had a lot of people that wanted to be like him, that wanted to be around him. And very few people were able to call him a friend. At the end of the day, there's been a hundred Mexican drug lords that have disappeared. That have faked their deaths. So what really happened? Was he set up by Los Chapitos? Did they really fear him having more power and people listening more to him than they would to them? Was he next in line? I mean, there was a party at his house when he got there. A lot of questions. And you have to really see through the, through the cracks, you know what I mean? Because you have to think, who really killed El Chino? Was it Mayo? Was it Mayo's sons? Or was it the Chapitos? Who really wanted that position? Who would benefit the most? Remember, El Chino Amtrax was a wing of security. He protected El Mayo and protected his sons.